Hi! In this video, we will present the multi Bernoulli mixture conjugate prior. If we have a multi Bernoulli birth or a multi Bernoulli mixture birth, then the multi Bernoulli mixture density, denoted MBM, is multi object conjugate prior to the standard point object transition density and measurement model. And that means that if we have an MBM density at time k minus 1, the predicted density is MBM and the posterior density at time k is also an MBM density. We have discussed earlier that multi-object conjugacy is an attractive property. However, it's also relevant to look a bit deeper into the MBM model. Beyond the multi-object conjugacy, how is the MBM model useful for multi-object tracking? The answer to this has to do with some of the uncertainties in multiple object tracking. Specifically, that we do not know if there are any objects in the surveillance area, and if there are, we do not know how many they are. If there are objects in the surveillance area, we do not know their states, and lastly, the data association is unknown. The first of these three questions is answered, so to speak, by the Bernoulli existence probabilities. For each Bernoulli, they tell us how certain we are about whether or not there is an object there. From the multiple Bernoullis, we get the object cardinality probability mass function. The second question is addressed by the Bernoulli state densities. For each Bernoulli, they capture the uncertainty of the state. And lastly, different data association sequences are captured by the multi Bernoulli mixture. Each multi Bernoulli mixture component corresponds to a data association sequence, and the mixture weights tells us about the estimated probability of the data association sequence. So to conclude, the multi Bernoulli mixture model is not only useful because of its conjugacy, but also because it nicely captures the relevant uncertainties. The multi Bernoulli mixture density is defined as a weighted sum of multi Bernoulli densities. In what follows, we will use calligraphic MB and calligraphic B to denote multi Bernoulli densities and Bernoulli densities, respectively. Similarly to when we presented MHT, each hypothesis H corresponds to a sequence of data associations. Calligraphic H denotes the number of hypotheses, and the weight W is the probability of the hypothesis. In MOT, the multi Bernoulli mixture density is parameterized by the log weights L and the Bernoulli parameters for each multi Bernoulli, which are, for each Bernoulli, the probability of existence R and the Bernoulli state density P. So we have log weights instead of weights for numerical reasons. Predicting and updating the multi Bernoulli mixture density then comes down to computing the predicted and updated parameters. For example, if we have Gaussian object densities with means mu and covariances p, then the multi Bernoulli mixture parameters are the log weights for each multi Bernoulli, and for each Bernoulli, we have the probability of existence, the mean mu, and the covariance p. Now that we understand the multi Bernoulli mixture density, we can use it to design algorithms for multiple object tracking, and such algorithms are called MBM filters. An MBM filter has four main parts. In each time step, we start with a prediction, then we have a base update, followed by a reduction step where we can do pruning, merging, and capping, and lastly, we have object estimation, where we extract a set of object estimates. We will learn more about these steps in the coming videos. Okay, that was the MBM conjugate prior. Next, we're going to have a look at the prediction and the update for the MBM conjugate prior. 